Hello. <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, yes, I was supposed to make some chicken and dumplings, but guess what? Um, my mom asked me, can I make her <laughs> German chocolate cake for her? <laughs> so I'm doing that instead. I'm making a, this cake for her. Um, was well, actually one of the um, people at church um, that my dad used to bake for all the time and stuff. He's missing his cake, whatever, and they asked uh, for a German chocolate cake. And she's like, well, you know what? You here. <laughs> you can make it. <laughs> So I already baked off the cake. Don't get mad at me, y'all. It was just a regular box cake. I didn't make it from scratch. You know, normally I, I can make it from scratch, but I ain't make it from scratch. But I did um, tweak it a little bit. Um, the way we tweak a um, box cake is add in some chocolate pudding or whatever cake you're doing. So if you're doing vanilla cake, do vanilla pudding. Do chocolate cake, do chocolate pudding. It make the cake come out a whole lot better. All right. But uh, get ready to make the filling for German chocolate cake. I know I don't know if you know, know if you guys. Uh, hey grandma, I don't know if you guys. Hey Lisa McCaslin. Hey Faith on love. Hey Darlene Anderson. Hey Angela Richard. Uh, hey Sandy Jean. I don't know if you guys um ever made the filling for German chocolate cake, but I I did it once before. I did it when I was in Delaware. Um, you guys probably seen, but it's been so long a, a while ago. So let's get into it because my milk is starting to temper. And you started off. You started off by uh, using um, carnation milk. So this is one can of carnation milk. Um, one can of carnation milk, and you want to temper this. You want you want it boiling because your egg's gonna boil. So this is one can of uh, evaporated milk, carnation milk, whatever you want to call it. All right. So let's temper our eggs. Our milk is um getting hot, and then you want to add in six egg yolks. Save your egg whites. You're gonna drop these in. And before your milk get too hot, you don't want scrambled eggs. You don't want egg drop soup. <laughs> you just want your milk to be warm, and you're gonna go ahead and whisk them in. And I'm gonna turn my heat all the way down until I until I add my um my butter and um add your, add your butter and your sugar and stuff and then you can turn it up a little bit so it can start to thicken up because what you're doing is basically some people use um some people use um um just use condensed milk some people do that but I think this the egg taste the the custard egg taste give it a better flavor to me that's what I believe um. And that's when my dad did it anyway. Um, that, that, that custard taste that's inside of it. It gives a better taste than just using the condensed milk. But you can do a shortcut way and just add condensed milk and add your, your coconut and your um, pecans and call it a day. You ain't got to do all this stuff and add a little vanilla to it. You don't have to do all this. But um, I'm doing the old-fashioned way, of course. <laughs> that part I'm not going to cheat on. I did cheat on the cake. The cake already done. I did cheat on the cake, but it's okay. It's going to be good. Uh, all right. So there was one can of evaporated milk to, um, and that's half a recipe. Um, my dad recipe calls for, uh, three quarters of cup of, um, of condensed milk, not condensed milk, sorry, evaporated milk to three egg yolks. All right. And then everything is like a pretty much is a cup of, cup of, cup of. So then we'll go in with a cup of brown sugar which is half a cup really half a cup of brown sugar half a cup of white sugar but well, since i'm doing a double recipe it's gonna be a cup of each one of them so if you're doing this one time you're doing Three quarters of a cup of three quarters of a cup of evaporated milk. I'm trying to get this thing off, and three egg yolks, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar. But like I said, y'all see me. Y'all gonna see me do a whole one because I'm doing this, this recipe twice. Okay. I'm, I'm doubling up my recipe. You 
and you want to pack it. Lightly pack it. Don't pack it all the way. You want it to taste like candy then. <laughs> Lightly pack the brown sugar. start turning up my heat now and we'll start gradually turning up the heat you want to gradually turn the heat up like I said you don't want you want to temper your eggs you don't want to have real uh, scrambled eggs so you want to temper them so gradually raise your heat as you're um, adding your sugars and, and everything stuff to it to temper your eggs sugar <laughs> I'm be honest with y'all the reason why a lot of desserts I don't eat <laughs> because I see how much sugar went into it I was like uh uh I don't want that <laughs> you know, uh, pecan pie was my favorite pie. It was my favorite. It was my ultimate favorite. I love pecan pie. Until so, um, one Thanksgiving, my dad had us. Uh, we had to make them. We had to make pecan pies for for like for everybody at the job, whatever. And so I never made it before. And so I got to putting all this stuff, the corn syrup and algal syrup and sugar and just the eggs. And I said, that's all that go in that pie? <laughs> and the pecans, that's it. I said, oh, no, I can't eat no more of that. <laughs> I couldn't eat no more of it. I said, oh, my God, that's a lot of sugar. My body caught a shock looking at it. <laughs> that was my ultimate favorite. That was some, was some um, vanilla ice cream on top of that, too. God dang it. Mm, mm, mm. It turned me. From, <laughs> it's one thing that turned. I know y'all like, why you don't eat desserts like that, chef? Because of all that sugar. <laughs> but I know that's what, that's what we love. I told you, we eat it in moderation. You should be fine, but it's just, mm. <laughs> it's me. Oh, man. Okay, so now I'm going um, to start adding my pats of butter in here as well. And I'm gonna do a um, half a cup of butter. And I'm gonna raise my heat up a little bit more. So you're basically making a, a egg custard caramel like sauce because it doesn't have any um no flour no uh, what you call it in it. so you're not making a, a custard custard but um because it doesn't have any no flour in it but um yeah so it's almost like a caramel because we're gonna cook this until it start to bubble but now your now your eggs should be tempered and you have to worry about the scrambled eggs now. We're just gonna let this uh, allow this, this to cook. Stir my butter in. A lot of things are easier than, than we actually make it to be. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna add in a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt in there to combat all that sweet. You need flavor. Uh, Lorraine, uh, Lorraine McCall, hello. Hello. 
Deborah Young is watching. See you watching. What you looking sell, Sonya? Uh, Holifit. Hello. Janice Taylor. What's going on? Yeah, this one, like I said, we're going to keep on rising the temperature up on it. Like I said, we want to come to a nice little bubble. Uh, Gloria Hargrave. Hello. Uh, Jackie Payne, what's going on? Say, try Splendor. Say, oh, um, yeah. But, but Splendor, it has that aftertaste. Yeah. And I know if you can't really, if you can't have the sugar, of course. You gotta get. You gotta. You gotta use what you what you can to get what you want. <laughs> you gotta use what you can to get what you want. You know what I mean? Uh, it has that aspartame taste behind of it. Um, actually, um, monk fruit sugar is is less evasive as that. But I think I think this you can find some date sugar. Uh, and date sugar is is um, dates are natural as a natural sugar. So. It doesn't harm your body. It doesn't send your A1Cs up, as they say. It doesn't spike them because it's natural sugar. I don't like the aspartame. That, that taste at the back end, that aspartame. Ugh. That, stuff, that stuff is horrible. You know, that aftertaste. Uh, I know, Jackie. I, I know what you mean. Cause I, I know because you're diabetic. Let's say, if you got to do what you, what you got to do, no for your health. But like I said, what you got to do, what you got to do. I, I want that little taste taste. I'm going to get somewhat of what, what I want. You got to trick your taste buds at times. Linda Shank, what's going on, Shank Shank? All right, it's going to take a little minute. Let's get to our frosting. I'm making this now so that it can... um. Set for tomorrow. I, I make it in the morning before I get ready to go. Yeah, I put it together in the morning. Well, my, my, I get she gonna put it together since I need everything. She can put it together, <laughs> right? <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork makes dream work. <laughs> All right, so we'll make some um, chocolate frosting or icing. Let me try that out. So, hey, Phoebs, Tina Gunn, what's going on, Tina? Tim Bell, what's going on, man? That's right. Like, share, subscribe if you can, if you want to, if, if you can. <laughs> All right, let me balance this thing out. Hold on, y'all. It's not my original one. Some bombarding somebody's, and it's not like mine. Hold on, I gotta get the camera to balance. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Because they want to jump in a bowl like it's something in there already. All right. Okay, I think I got it. All right, let's add the paddle to this. I got the paddle. I think I got this bowl right. Let me make sure I got the bowl locked on right. Okay, I think that's it. All that work. And I need to unravel the cord. I don't know, I thought it was the um, in back of it like the, the other other one. Sorry, y'all fumbling. <clears throat> okay. I gotta add some butter in here. It's pretty soft. It's not always it's not as soft as I want to, but I feel the um the machine is gonna the motion of the machine is gonna um help that along. I don't make I don't want y'all having too much noise being made. I'm gonna soften this butter a little bit though. Oh, 
Yeah, see? Boom. <laughs> All right. Also, just want to add a little bit of sh a sh some shortening, a little bit of shortening or Crisco. It helps stabilize your um, buttercream or your frosting. I'm doing half a cup of um, shortening right here. So I'm not putting it over here. Look at that, it's looking good already. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, for German chocolate cake, only thing I'm doing is icing in the sides. Um, the top gets um, the filling, and that's it. Well, she icing inside. <laughs> <laughs> she probably watching right now. Is that you coming downstairs on? Uh -huh. Oh, that is her. <laughs> is her? What happened? No, I'm telling them that you're going to make the cake in the morning. <laughs> so I'll make the stuff for it. She's going to put it together. <laughs> oh, you got it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 so y'all can say hello. This hello, everybody, the new and the old. <laughs> y'all y'all know I'm always gonna be smiling and laughing. <laughs> That's where I get it from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get it from me. We both Sagittarius. Beautiful people. I thank my mama. <laughs> <laughs> So you smell it? Yeah, I smell it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Make my little piece, my little German chocolate cake. What you call it? Oh. Um, yeah. I was telling that, well, I, I ain't telling that my, my, my auntie was up here. My mom, my, uh, my grandmother's sister. Baby was, sister. Baby yeah. sister was here. So it was about, when I was cooking, it was too late for me to bring her on and stuff, but she know one of them plates went up to her, and she had the potato salad. Ooh, that lady like the wind crazy the potato. Talk about the potato salad on the way going back to South Georgia. <laughs> 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 Where you gonna come back again? <laughs> Talk about that, that potato salad. <laughs> that potato salad was good. Oh man, that potato salad was good. Everything was good, but that potato salad was good. I'm doing three cups of um, powdered sugar. Confectionate sugar, powdered sugar. I'm do this. Cause I know that yeah, I add a little bit more what you call it, but it's three cups of powdered sugar. Okay. 
And you want to add in some milk. I'm going to add in a little bit of milk. Two thirds of a cup of milk. Third of a cup of milk, not two thirds. Third of a cup of milk. No, no, I said two thirds. It's two thirds of a cup of cocoa powder. I had two mixed up in my head. <laughs> That's all right. Walk back. I said, no, no, I had that much milk in there. <laughs> all right. So I'm doing chocolate frosting. If you're just doing regular icing, just just do it that way. Just um nothing in it. But I'm making chocolate, so I need the cocoa powder. Yeah, two thirds of a cup. Teaspoon of vanilla. Teaspoon of vanilla. Yes. <laughs> you kept measurements. You still don't measure, boy. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> And this is there you go. You're frosting. Um and mix it, push it down some and mix it some more, but it's a chocolate frosting. This is not icing, this is frosting. And if you're somebody it's like, what's the difference? Well, or a butter, you know, buttercream frosting. Look at that. I'm gonna mix it one more time though. I'm just pushing everything down. And then we're gonna add our, our coconut mixture and um, pecans to our um, hot mixture over there. Like I said, I want everything to be cool tomorrow. And I want this to be able to be um, pliable because I'm gonna leave this out, of course, um, to, so it doesn't lock up. I'm putting cakes in the refrigerator though. Should be ready. Mm, yes, it's perfect. There we go. Yep, it's perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Perfect frosting. Okay, let's get to our. Um, back to our. 
filling for the German chocolate. And look, so it started to turn to a caramel, caramel already. Look, see it? It's pretty. Let me wash my hands. Get some frosting off of it. <laughs> so you take your coconut flakes. It's sweetened. Don't get the um, ones unsweetened. Look at it. Yeah, it smells just like caramel. That's what it's just what you're looking for. You want that. And uh We're going to add in a cup of um, coconut, sweetened coconut that is, yeah, so that's, that's a cup, <laughs> there you go, I'm going to add a little more, <laughs> but that was a cup, <laughs> I don't think that's <laughs> nothing. Then you want to take, you want to chop your um, your pecans or pecans, what you say. And I'm going to save a little bit. And you can turn this off. And of course, as it cools, it's going to, it's going to set a little bit more as it cools. But that's your German chocolate mixture right there. And we're going to add in some vanilla too as well. But just like a caramel or a custard that you're doing, that you that you make, um, um, anything you cook, cook like cooking vanilla with it, add the vanilla last, especially like with bacon, um, like especially when you're doing a, a, a like about banana pudding, add the vanilla last in your custard. Don't add it right away. Do a teaspoon. Not a teaspoon. It's a teaspoon. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me, yo. I can't get that thing popped off on me. It's hard to get back on here when it's while you're not washing it. Okay, there you go. All right, there we go. And that's it. That's it for that. That's all you gotta do for for the filling for German chocolate. Or if you use because you can put some on top and then on in, in the inside like I do. I don't know how she's gonna ice it, but I hope. I think she's gonna ice it the same way I am, or the same way that I do. You know, I put some in the middle, and then you ice the cake, make a make a well for it, and then since this this would be set, you add that in on top, whatever, and then you put your little flowers around it. You know, little stuff like that. Yeah, I'm saying it's your chocolate cake. Chocolate cake, I did. Um, like I said, I, it was boxed. Um, I didn't do it though. Uh, I didn't make the, the chocolate cake. But all y'all all know I can, but I didn't. She want the quick one. She says she ain't got time for all that stuff. I said, okay, mom. So <laughs> I follow her lead. Um, and the only thing you do to make this um, more more um, moist, add some chocolate pudding to it. A box of chocolate pudding to your cake mix. Trust me, you get a bang out of life. If you're doing vanilla cake, add vanilla cake. You get a bang out of life. It take, I promise you, the cake come out so much different. Yeah, I'll see. I guess well, now you can't see that. Well, this is this is a test one. She's gonna cut this one. <laughs> Not test one, but she that's one she wants. She she says she gotta have have a piece for herself too. <laughs> yeah, because this for the um for one of the deacons at the church. Deacon um Starks. Yeah. But yes, all right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. No, I think I'll come back on. Because I'm going to see Grandma Jones right now. As soon as Ken called me, um, I'm going to pick him up and then I'm going to uh, go see Grandma Jones. That's where we going. So I, I may come back on live, but I'm still stuck. I haven't eaten yet. Uh, I need uh, uh, some. I want some seeds, some soap, some some nuts, some seafood, some good crawfish or something. <laughs> That's what I want. Some crawfish. That's what I feel like. Uh, 
Can't get them. They can't get them down there when they even. They don't taste the same way. So I'm gonna get some crawfish and then go go to Grandma Jones' house and sit down and chill for a little bit. All right. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Love you all. Um, thank you guys for the stars. Thank you guys for the likes. Thank you guys for the shares. Like I guess I see you guys in a little bit. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed the um the live too as well. Hope you guys learned something. <laughs>